Now coming up, do QAnon conspiracy theories drive this man to violently kill his two children? This is one of the most chilling stories we've covered on the show. What he said was that his wife had this serpent DNA and had passed it along to his kids. Hard to believe in other people. True crime exclusive next. It's one thing to believe some weird conspiracy theories. It's another one to you know, act out violently because of it. Did conspiracy theories drive this man to take off to Mexico and violently kill his two children? The twisted, chilling story of Matthew Taylor Coleman appears in this week's People. Senior writer Steve Helling brings us the disturbing details. People around him were thinking, gee, some of these things that he believes are kind of strange. But nobody thought, you know, is he going to kill his kids? That was never on anybody's radar. According to this 10-page document, Matthew Coleman, the man who appeared to be the perfect husband to wife Abby and father to two-year-old Kaleo and 10-month-old Roxy, believed some far-fetched theories. Matthew Coleman told the FBI agent that he was motivated by the conspiracy theories of QAnon, which is, you know, a far-right conspiracy theory that has all sorts of different parts of it. But the part that he was really focused on was the idea that there were these reptilian serpent-like people who were shapeshifters who pretended to be normal people like you and I. What he said was that his wife had this serpent DNA and had passed it along to his kids. So the only way that he could save the world was to kill his two children. People senior writer Steve Helling spoke with Coleman's friends who are still in disbelief that the 40-year-old California surf instructor who was religious and boasted on social media about his family devotion could snatch his two young children and drive them over the U.S. border for something so nefarious. At first, Abby wasn't that concerned because she thought maybe he was going to get extra supplies, something for the camping trip. You know, they hadn't had an argument is what she told cops. There was no sign of a problem. Uh, he just drove off with the kids. So she kept getting things ready. And then a little while later, she's thinking, wow, they've been gone a long time. The next morning, she noticed there are the car seats that the kids should have been in. They've been gone all night. And then she's starting to get worried. And so then the cops come and she officially declares them missing. Authorities say Coleman drove the children to Rosarita, Mexico, and checked into a hotel on Saturday, August 7th. Early Monday morning, he took them to a farm and killed them with a spear fishing gun. A farmer discovered the bodies shortly after. Authorities arrested Coleman at the U.S. border. And he did tell the FBI agent that he knew what he was doing was wrong, but he was doing it for the greater good, you know, to save this world. Dr. Zeev Cohen, a forensic psychiatrist, has not examined Coleman, but treats ex-QAnon followers. It's really challenging to talk to someone who's become wrapped up in a conspiracy theory because their mind is so wrapped up in conspiratorial thinking that when you try to reason with them, they might think that you're part of the conspiracy. It might make them paranoid. It might make them angry. It might make them, um, you know, block you out of their life. It was a very dark descent for him. And he's somebody that any of us could have known. So that's that's always going to be a fascinating story. Unreal Coleman being held without bond. He has not yet entered a plea. His arraignment scheduled for August 31st in Los Angeles.